I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's what it's all about. I don't know why I sang that, that was fun. Uh, anyway, this week we are reacting to yet another song that became popular on TikTok that has a full music video on YouTube. It is Don't Touch My Clogs by Oct or OCT. I don't know if it's pronounced one way or the other. Anyway, if this is your first time joining us, yes, hello. Like I said, I am a comedy musician who reacts specifically to comedy music. What that means for you is that I'm going to pause the video, kind of often actually. This way I'm not talking over the jokes and missing them, but also so that I can give my analysis and, you know, own personal experience as a comedy musician when reacting to the song. And sometimes that means breaking it down, talking about how the video works with the lyrics, uh, how they work in tandem. Sometimes it's even explaining jokes, because that seems to be fun for everybody. And sometimes it's just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. Uh, if you do likes this sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let's dive into this video this week. Like I said, this is a song that appeared on TikTok uh, not long ago, and uh, now has a full music video on YouTube. Uh, a couple people have uh, asked me to react to this. I was not aware that a music video was out for it, so thank you all for suggesting this one. I have been sent to Earth to capture a relic that contains the energy of over 12 trillion supernovas. <laughs> that is, a, uh, it's a lot of energy. Also, I love the, again, this is like the second video in, in a couple weeks that we've had that has the old school 80s aspect ratio. I say 80s because I mostly know it from 80s, but a lot of movies, even, even before then, like a lot of older movies were not filmed in like widescreen in the way that we know it they were they had the old aspect ratio as well uh some not all uh and uh so you know i, I always equate this to vhs and watching stuff on on tv because tvs were square back then they weren't all wide tvs kids uh so you know i i love that kind of aesthetic when doing a music video and going for a specific specific genre or era with its mysterious powers my people and i will rule the galaxy with a wooden clog. <laughs> I love the futuristic glasses, the the bandolier of bullets, and all of this is a search for a wooden clog. It's amazing. Yes, comedy music, baby. It, it, it it's what that's what makes this kind of song possible. Oct presents Connor Boyd. This this is this is a much more in depth video than like the one dude just standing there singing in front of a green screen uh, that I've seen on TikTok. So this seems to be much more music video like. You know, a lot of music videos they kind of have a a, a running theme through them. They have a, a story that you're supposed to be following along with. I think I mentioned that a couple weeks ago, where, like, music videos are basically short films. There's a narrative that runs through the story of the action that's going on, and the song is just kind of, like, the delivery device for that. Uh, and uh, this, this seems to be going along that method of music video making, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the lead singer of this is who I saw performing this on uh, on TikTok, and I'd seen it shared hundreds of times. People use it as a sound clip. The song is blowing up everywhere. Um, I love that beard and hair combo. Uh, that is, you know, you can clearly see that it's it's fake and whatnot, but it's a lot. It's a lot of beard, a lot of hair. 
uh, and and just the opening shot of them with the synthesizers, uh, just and in the all black outfits and sunglasses, just has this this eternal '80s vibe to it. And uh, and also, yeah, it's kind of a synthwave song. So yeah, so obviously they're going for that that era of production in the music and the video. He said, "Boy, listen close. I am saying this once. These were born <laughs> by my parents and their parents' parents. Now they're yours, but be sure." There's some amazing rhymes happening in this right now. Uh, saying this once, and my parents' parents. He does the pronunciation of the same word differently right after each other. Parents, parents, just so that it fits the rhyme scheme of rhyming with once. That is so, like, here's the thing. Like, comedy music is music, absolutely. It, it follows the themes of music until it doesn't. A lot of comedy songs play with the idea of not using a normal rhyme scheme or making words adjusting your pronunciation of words to fit a rhyme scheme, or sometimes just ignoring rhymes at all. Uh, and, and that's one, and you can get away with it in comedy music because the nature of it is supposed to be funny. If, you, if it's, you know, putting the joke above everything else, yes, it is great music production. That is one of the things that is key in comedy music, is the music portion of comedy music. But the First part of it is is the comedy part, and sometimes that supersedes what you're doing with the music. And uh, having that with the pronunciation of words to fit a rhyme scheme uh, is really something you can only get away with the, get away with in this method in comedy. And there was another line that was right after that, so I'm going to rewind it here a little bit. Now they're yours, but be sure. But the way he hits the the O sound, now they're yours, but be sure. Uh, they, they, so funny. Because yours and sure, they kind of rhyme anyway, but he's hitting the O in your really hard, so that sure sounds more elongated on the, the vowel sound. It's just a choice to do. Again, comedy music, you're, you're making choices that are against the natural sound of, of what a song would be or what you would normally say or speak, what have you. Um, I just love crap like that. That's what I'm saying. Also, that's just a great shot. <laughs> I thought so. Okay, I, I couldn't tell in the other shots, but it kind of looked like he was wearing a yarmulke, uh, so, which you can see flying off his head as he's been kicked in the balls in this shot. Also, by the way, amazing uh, freeze frame here. Uh, but you can see it coming off of his head. Now, I thought this was a Christmas sweater, and uh, traditionally, uh, Jews don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, maybe it's a yarmulke, maybe it's a different type of head covering, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, uh, an interesting, interesting choice to have Christmas sweater and yarmulke. Whatever. People are allowed to celebrate whatever the hell they want. Uh, but uh, it's an interesting cross-section of things. Actually, looking at it now, those are camels on that sweater, so who knows? My clock, you can take my cash, you could burn my house, you could force me trash, I'd let you kick my balls while I chewed on. <laughs> There is, like, again, this is kind of like, going back a couple weeks to what I've mentioned before, is like, the, the hook of this song, the chorus of the song, is listing all the things you can do instead of touching the clogs. So you can force feed me trash, you can kick me in the balls, you can burn my house down, just don't touch my clogs. Uh, honestly, this is like the... Danish version of Don't Wear Those Shoes by Weird Al. 
because that whole song is a list of things that you can't you can do other than wearing the shoes you can be I'm begging you down on my bended knees oh honey please don't wear those shoes you can kick me beat me rob me blind baby I don't mind but please don't wear those shoes yeah this is kind of this is kind of that the clog version of don't wear those shoes that's I took me this long to get to that uh, I love that but again, it's uh, the chorus, at least the hook here, I haven't heard the second verse yet because I've only heard this verse on TikTok. Uh, the first chorus here is listing all the things, and again, that's going along with the list songs that I've mentioned before on this show, is that listing things is kind of like uh, a cheat code for comedy songs. You know, it's, it's, it's a fun way to get a lot of weirdness out. Here, you know, here's the basic things. Burning my house down, kick me in the balls is what ends the line, and that's kind of the extreme in that line. If you're working on the, the, the threes of comedy, where the first verse is the setup, your second verse is the elevation, and the third verse is the extreme version of that. You know, you're, you're moving along those lines in, in the playing by threes, but uh, doing it in the chorus there... I, I'm sure the other verses are going to be saying, here's all the things that you can't do, don't touch my clogs. Um, my point being, God, I kind of rambled on that one, didn't I? I am sorry. Whatever. Uh, the, the listing part of it is is just the kind of the cheat code of, of building up a lot of good comedy and fitting a lot of comedy into a small section of song. So I, I enjoy that kind of thing. Is basically what I was getting down to, just the way you can fit that much comedy into a small section of lyrics. I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands. I've seen Fifth Element a lot. They're not ready. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> weird. Uh, let's continue. So, there were, one other thing I wanted to say before that is the the vocal crunch that he he does it's not there so before i even thought just like screaming it it's just such a great choice to go along with the musical style you know it's just like there's so much emphasis put into that line um and I, I enjoy that. You know, if you're if you're doing a song in a specific style in comedy, because comedy music is one of those genres that encapsulates all genres. You can do country comedy songs. You can do 80s synthwave comedy songs. You can do hip hop comedy songs. You can do comedy polka. You know, comedy music is every genre because comedy is funny. Uh, it kind of goes without saying. But it's one of those things that, you know, can encapsulate anything because the main focus is the comedy and the music version that you're using, the, the musical genre, is just kind of like the delivery system for that comedy. I've said delivery system twice in this reaction now, and I don't know why. Uh, but, yes. I love... Because I've, I've heard that line before, you'll have to beat my wife, and it's clearly he's beat her at chess. We're not going to show uh, abuse, physical abuse in this. We're not going to uh, show anything like that. We're, we're, we're taking the line and turning it on its head. That is one of the joys for me of a comedy music video versus just listening to the song. In just listening to the song, you hear, you can beat my wife, and you think that means physically. But this is a case where I've brought up many times where the music video elevates that lyric into something else. You can beat my wife. Clearly, he has beaten her at chess. He's gotten rid of that piece. He's very happy and clapping to himself, and the, the old man is very angry about it. That is funny. That is just taking it, and it's 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 the subversion of what you're expecting it to be, and having that be in the music video version, so so great. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Mm, mm, ah, mm, noises. I, 
Again, it's that vocal scream. We all have to break my legs. I love that. I just, it's so good. And uh, kill my mom with a rusty knife. Let's get, let's get even more detailed into that. Uh, the, the leg being bent up like that. Was the, was the future guy wearing a Venom shirt? Did I just see that? So much. The rusty knife, you have to break my legs. Yes, he's wearing a Venom shirt. A Spider-Man uh, villain Venom shirt. It could be, it could be the, the, the black symbiote costume shirt. Uh, but I always equate that with Venom. Uh, Spidey Ward first, sure. Uh, in Secret Wars number four or, or six, I forget which one it was. I had the issue for a while. I was a kid. It's in terrible condition now if I still even have it. But uh, yeah, no, that's when he got the black costume. That's a weird thing to nerd out in the middle of this, but it happened. Um, yeah, no, just, it's such an easy gag. He's clearly not, his foot is not in that shoe, and they've just propped it up behind his leg to show that. It's... Simple and easy, we dig it. Before I ever let you touch my clothes. Just beat him to death with the with the case. C L O G clog. And yeah, he hits him with the case and they're all they're wiping away tears as they're looking at the, the clogs and the spotlight. There's such a, a a reverence for this this era of music and this type of music video that they're emulating here. I dig it. And, and the weird dance break. Those aren't just black suits. They're like weirdly textured, like almost like like a disco ball, but black and shiny. Uh, that's awesome. Father said you're my son, so I'll tell you the truth. I wore clogs with the socks for the bulk of my youth. Now these clogs, they are yours. Protect them with your life. I pray you. Now these clogs, they are yours. That. Clogs and yours do not rhyme, but the way they do the pronunciation, it makes it almost a slant rhyme. That is, again, it, it, the rules are that there aren't any real rules. You know, there, there's rules to structures of songs, but you can break them and mold them to make them work for your comedic vision. Uh, that's the beauty of comedy. Comedy is one of the most subjective art forms in the world. What is funny for one person is not funny for another. But... Uh, to me, and I, I'm an appreciator of many different styles of comedy, I love people who, who have songs that are specifically structured like a song and do not uh, deviate from song structure in making their comedy songs, and then there are those that, like this one, that I do appreciate that kind of twist that idea of song structure on its head a little bit to make things fit in their version. Here's a rhyme that doesn't quite rhyme, but I'm gonna pronounce it so that it does. Fuck yeah, man. Why not? You're my son, so I'll tell you the truth. I wore clogs without socks for the bulk of my youth. Clogs without socks. Yeah, socks. Not socks. Socks. So that it rhymes with clogs. Yeah, mm, that. Now these clogs, they are yours. Wax my bits, I'd even butt chug bleach. Is that what he said? Butt chug? Wow. Uh, and ow. And okay, that's a lot. And after all of that, I still wouldn't let you touch my clogs. You, you twist my nips. That is, that's a great line. Not, let's, and just let's, let's make it fit the meter. Touch, twist my nips, not twist my nipples. That's too many syllables. Uh, and also, uh, again, going with the aesthetic of the style of music video and the, and the era they're doing. And after all of that, they all turn at the same, in unison, synchronized to sing that line. It's so good. The choreography. It's great. My blood, you can eat my lunch, and you can knock me out with a one-inch punch, and make me drink your sweat from a dirty sponge. You'd have to shoot me dead before I ever let you touch my blood. Is my purpose. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
there are such great lines in all of that. Like, the build-up to, you know, the final thing being, you'd have to shoot me dead before I have to let you touch my clogs. And then the unbuttoning of the jacket and throwing it with the wind machine, uh, a la Michael Jackson or, or anybody in that era when they, like, wanted to emphasize something and they throw their jacket open for the next part they are going to sing. This, this bridge coming in of, of, you know, whatever the ramping up is going to be. Uh, yeah, again, it's, it, it is working on the threes, but it's doing it only in the choruses, where the ramping up of, you know, your established theme and, and the escalation and then the, the extreme. I'm feeling we're going to get the extreme in the third, but it's, it's, or we might be getting it here in the bridge, too. Just the way that it's, it's on that build up to it is, is good shit. The one inch punch, just Bruce Lee knocking him across the screen. Great stuff. Punch and make me drink your sweat. Rhyming sponge and punch. That's great. That's a great rhyme, personally. I, th I feel like that's a great rhyme. Uh, just because I, I like non-traditional rhymes. It's almost a slant rhyme because they don't quite rhyme on the final sound, on the final consonant sound. They kind of rhyme more along the... I mean, they rhyme on the, on the, on the vowel sound, but the, the end sound of it doesn't rhyme. Punch and sponge a ch and a g not quite there but it's still there enough that it rhymes really well it's pleasing to my ear is what i'm saying you have to shoot me dead before i ever let you touch my eye use my purpose in life to keep them safe until my child is at least 25 then i will bear the cross of them and the world of a pride and every single day from then they'll make sure no one is touched man the key change and build up, so good. Like this, this, this bridge is the ramping up of everything. His his father's father, his grandfather told him about the clogs. Never touch my clogs. And then the next verse is his father telling him about the clogs. And the guy from the future has clearly annihilated him with laser vision. And it's like now I'm gonna pass. I need to keep the clogs so that I can pass them on to their my kid until they're at least 25 and so that they know that no one can touch their clogs it's such a genius premise for a song for a comedy song because it's just ridiculous and it but it's it's got such a story to tell between like the grandparent the parent this person their future children yeah man yeah He's 25. So there's a there's an amazing like there's there's this ramping of the vocals in the first line of the bridge and then when they get to the touch my clogs or touch your their clogs line since it's passed on to the children there's this key change to a higher key of them uh you know it's it's the, <laughs> I I was laughing at the line and now I cannot remember the line uh They're the one thing I love. They're the only thing that makes me sure that they're God up above. Holy crap, that's a great line. <laughs> Again, it's it's you're you're pushing into the ridiculous um, because they're they're these sacred clogs. I I said Danish before. I think I meant Dutch. Holy crap, what is wrong with me? Um, this is for everybody who commented already that no Danish doesn't. Or Danish and Dutch are the same thing. I am terrible with geography. I apologize if I offend anybody by confusing things that might easily be confused or might not be confused at all because I don't know where things are in the world. I, I had this problem with the, the last video I did for, for Kyle Gordon's uh, Planet of the Base. I don't know where things are in the world. I didn't know that Bratislava was a real place. I'm a jerk. I'm sorry. This is a weird section to have in this. This is... We're almost a half an hour on this reaction uh, because I keep rambling. Holidays are weird and I just got over a thing and it's, stuff's happening. That's why I talk a lot. Shut Up Ian is around for a reason. If you're wondering what I mean, there's a song by me called Shut Up Ian because I talk too much. Give it a listen. You'll understand 
my pain. And your pain, probably. Anyway, I like the ramp up here. Oh, what a Back to the Future outfit. I didn't even realize that. I pray the Lord my clogs to take. Oh my goodness. So good. Not broccoli. Uh, there's, I love the ramp up of, like, resuscitating the family with the clogs and the clogs fight back against the future guy. I do wish that this final chorus wasn't a repeat of the previous chorus. I wish that we had even more extreme things that you can do in, in lieu of touching the clogs. Um, I don't mind the repetition. It's a, it's a good song structure to do, but it's, it, for me is not what one would hope for in a comedy song. Comedy songs give you the freedom to change the chorus every chorus, because you're trying to fit in more jokes in as much time as possible, uh, and especially in a parody song. This is not a parody, it's not a direct parody of a, of a specific song. It's kind of a, a, a parody of a genre, which we call a pastiche, but uh, in, in parody songs, you know, you have only the original song structure to fit jokes into. And sometimes in those songs you change the choruses so that you can fit more jokes in, if you have more jokes. Uh, and, and you can structure your song to, to have that chorus change every time. Uh, in an original song, you have the freedom to do whatever you want, and sometimes you can have that chorus repeat or not if you want. Uh, but I, I always see... Uh, I always hear a repetition of a chorus as a wasted opportunity to fit more jokes in, as a personal thing. That's just something that I would have tried to do if I could, if I could think of more things to go along, especially in a list form. It would be kind of an interesting and fun thing to do on the ramp up, like I talked about with the comedy in threes. But uh, I'm, I don't admonish them for this choice. It's just, uh, it's a choice that I notice and would have done differently had I done it. Um, but all that said, it's still an amazing song. It still works structurally for what they are doing and for what they're emulating with this particular pastiche. And uh, I still dig it. I do love the scream, too. And yeah, I, it, I don't know why it didn't dawn on me that he's dressed as Marty McFly from Back to the Future with the denim shirt and the puffy red vest, uh, looking like it's a life preserver. That's great. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Some outtakes of him screaming and flying backwards. Uh, yeah, that uh, um, amazing video. Uh, bravo to the uh, band Oct or OCT whichever it may happen to be. The Connor Boyd was the Cloganator. That was the future guy. Uh, that, uh, bravo to everybody here who did all of this amazing work. There's some outtakes here. It's about, eh, about 20 seconds of outtakes here. Oh, do, doing the sprinkler. And of course, I'm pretty sure that the the band is playing the father and grandfather. And uh, obviously, uh, the clogs guy and the father. I don't want to uh, attempt pronouncing uh, pr pronouncing this last name and messing it up. I couldn't even say the word pronouncing, so I could probably screw that up pretty easily. Um, but uh, yeah, 
clearly they're related. I don't know if they're brothers or not, but they played son and father in this. That was great. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you, you know, enjoyed it, also show OCT or Oct some love as well. Link to the original video is in the description below. Uh, and of course, uh, if you really want to help my channel out and get to see more of these, uh, like these people over here do, please uh, consider subscribing to my Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my own comedy music early, and all sorts of other cool perks like that. Anyway, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. I've got original Clue, because the game is iconic, but with updated suspects, just to be ironic. I've got Clue Dice and the one that does cards, or an escape room Clue, but it isn't too hard. I've got the Liar's Clue and the biggest parody, and some video game versions I can play on my screen. 24 and Buster said I like those properties, and this got the one's Clue, because I get the charities. Of course I have the movie and the documentary too, and this is for everyone who says I don't have a clue.